Hey guys, this is Mike, and you're watching my outdoor channel. So lately, I've been doing a lot of cooking on the Cherry Grill. For the longest time, I didn't have uh, a smoker. Um, I just used my basically gas grill, and what I did is I basically covered up the stacks of my grill and um, used the smoke box in my smoker, and things came out great. I made bacon in there. I've done a lot of stuff that way. Uh, over time, talking to my buddies, they mentioned about Traeger. Uh, did a lot of reviews. A lot of people had great things to say about it. Some people don't have great things to say about it. Um, one of the biggest complaints I've seen from people is about the temperature not holding on the grill uh, consistently. And now, if you look up, like, if you go to their website, right, it actually says on the website that you will have a fluctuation between a certain temperature based on your model. The lower models, the greater the flux. Uh, difference, the higher miles, the less the difference. But one of the biggest things too is, especially here on the East Coast or any place where it's cold, is you can get these insulation blankets. Um, you should try to keep your grill out of the wind in an area where it can keep a constant temp. But if you can't or you need something additional, they make these insulation blankets. So my grill sits on my back porch, kind of secluded a little bit, and we'll go out there in a moment, I'll show you. And it's it holds pretty well. It holds within 15 degrees, give or take. Uh, I'm no professional on Traeger. Um, I am still learning a lot of stuff about it, but I've been enjoying it. It's been probably in the 20s to the 40s here, give or take. Um, and I've been using my grill throughout everything in, uh, during those times. So one of the things I did though is I did go out and buy the blanket for it. And the blanket did just arrive. Uh, so I do have the Pro Series 22 grill. Um, and the blanket is like basically this big reflective blanket to try to keep the heat in. And basically it drapes over the grill. Uh, the one thing is I have not seen any directions inside the box yet. So I'm going to take this outside and open up the box and uh, we'll also put it on the grill. All right. So we're out here. Uh, that's my old grill over there. It's a uh, Charbroil. It's a uh, two... Uh, basically two parts. The left side is the gas, the right side is charcoal, and basically you can see at the top there, the smokestacks, um, or the heat vents, whatever you want to call them, is where I would just wrap aluminum foil around it to try to trap the smoke inside and then just use a smoke box to do it. And then over here, I have my new trigger. And then what I've done here is, it, it's away from the house to avoid any chances of fire or anything like that. But I've also kind of put it into a corner here to try to keep, um, a lot of the wind off of it so you can tell it's been snowing here uh temperatures are still pretty cold and we're expecting another storm tonight so i'm going to uncover the grill and uh we're going to try and install this blanket all right so the grill's uncovered right now and basically it's uh as i said it's a pro series 22 um it's probably about a month old now give or take um and we really do enjoy uh, using it. Uh, I've been making a lot of different chicken on and stuff. Uh, definitely needs a little cleaning. Um, I used that pan down there, but I just cooked uh, earlier today. So I'm gonna give this thing a good scrub down after I get the blanket on it. And uh, we'll go from there. Um, we did end up buying some containers for the buckets just to catch the grease and stuff in it. It is a pain to scoop the grease out. You could just use aluminum foil. It'll make your life much easier. Um, you can see down there, I do have a cover over the plate. Basically, all the grease goes on there, and I can take that cover out and replace them. You can also use a little foil to do that. So let's get the cover out and see if we can figure out how to install it. Now, this is the cover. Now, one of the things to make sure you're aware of, this product is only to be used if your trigger grill is equipped with a digital controller and do not use this product if outside temperature exceeds 35 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. Basically, you don't want a lot of heat built up in there, otherwise you can cause fires, this can melt, things like that. So that's the bottom piece. And then basically you just have this top piece here. And what I'm assuming is gonna happen is we're basically gonna put this over the grill and just secure it. All right, so I've been at this for about two, three minutes now. And I figured out how to get the, at least the top cover part here on. And then this piece here just sits on the lip. Basically it just locks in there. So those straps that are around the back here, we're gonna go under the grill and then we're gonna secure it that way. All right, so give me a moment. All right, that was actually very easy to put on. Um, probably a total of five, six minutes to do it. The longest part is just really understanding where the parts go. Got that strapped in there. 
And it looks like it's going to do a pretty good job. Um, kind of wish maybe it went down the sides a little more. Maybe over time it'll, it'll sit a little bit better as it gets uh, opens up. But uh, it's still really easy to open up the cover. You can definitely feel the extra weight it added to the uh, grill, to the cover of the grill. And as I said, I've been holding pretty good temperature wise uh, within, I would say 15 degrees, give or take. Um, and I'm not sure how much that affects the cooking right now. As I said, I'm still really new to the Traeger, but I'm hoping now with this cover on here and the colder weather, weather right now, it'll help. Uh, we do a lot of wild game uh, cooking, uh, a lot of uh, different meats out here. Um, we've done some pig hunts and deer hunts, ducks, geese, things like that. So we've been cooking them out on the grill and hopefully I'll get some uh, videos of that coming out soon. But altogether right now, it is a very easy fix. Uh, it's about a $100 uh, uh, piece for your grill, give or take, depending where you buy it. I got it on Amazon uh, with free two day shipping. It came out and now it's installed. So we are good to go. Um, I'm gonna try to put the cover on and see if that affects it at all. And we'll give you an update in a moment. So the cover is back on the grill. Um, so yeah, the cover's back on the grill. Um, it doesn't really look like it affected the cover at all. Um, the cover already seems short in general where the legs kind of stuck out all the time. I would have to say that's probably one of the things I don't like about this cover is um, that it does leave parts of the grill exposed to the weather. So I will give an update on this uh, to see if the attachment actually works. Let me know what you think. Um, if you've used them before, do you see a difference? What other uh, accessories are really uh, a must have for the Traeger? And uh, hopefully coming soon, I'll have some videos up about just cooking on it in general. As I said, I'm no professional at doing this. I'm really new to the whole wood uh, pellet uh, cooking on the grill, but so far our chicken's been coming out amazing. Our steaks are mouth watering, uh, bacon. Uh, man, the stuff that used to take me forever on this grill to do is just it, this girl's made to do this stuff on it so it's been very helpful it's been a godsend one of the better uh best christmas presents uh presents i got from the wife um it has been this girl so i'm very grateful for that all right guys if you like this give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe to the channel until next time have a good day